This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, and the lesson I'm on is for loops with artist. I'm on puzzle 8. Make three small changes to the code from the last level to get this. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is similar to the last level, too, in that we're just going to make some changes. Three small changes. Hmm. Well, right off the bat, this must be thinner than ours. Yeah, so they must be using, isn't it under brushes? Set width. I'm going to grab that because this looks way thinner. Let's see. Okay, that at least looks thin enough. All right. So that's one change. So now we got to figure out two more. Hmm. Well, look at the center here. See how they turn at first? I start off and go this way. Theirs goes zoop, 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 the other way. So instead of, I'm supposed to draw a line and go right. I draw a line and go left. So let's try that. So they draw a line and go right. Let me see what this looks like. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh my goodness. But we're so much wider than theirs. Like their lines are like close together. So it's definitely not 15. If their lines are that close together, let's try 5. Oh, that's a bit better, but not really there at all. I'm going to speed this up. Does it even look? <laughs> that kind of looks cool. Uh, let's try three. Oh, whoa. Whoa, we get a similar effect, though. But it must not be that. It's close. Um, let's go down again. Two. And then one. Oh. Oh. I think we got it. Do I go enough times though? But Oh, awesome. So, wow, okay, that was tricky. So it was set width to one, and then we only want to count up by two, and then we're going to end up making it a lot more uh, squares, or, well, lines, because we're only counting up by two, and then we needed to go the opposite direction. Tricky. All right, let's keep uh, going.